Good evening, I'm Seth Meyers. This is Late Night. How's everybody doing tonight? Great to hear. In that case, let's get to the news. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden was heckled last week outside of a Connecticut ice cream shop, but that's what you get when you order rum raisin. <laughs> West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin announced today that he's tested positive for the coronavirus. Wow, he finally found something he couldn't block. <laughs> former President Trump and former Vice President Mike Pence held competing rallies on Friday in Arizona, so the chance were either Run, Mike, run! Or, run, Mike, run! <laughs> the annual congressional baseball game is scheduled for Thursday evening at Nationals Park. And, oh, look at this! Josh Hawley is stealing third base! <laughs> Newark, New Jersey, in 1950. He stole a base in 1950. <laughs> there goes Hawley. He's running down to third base. Newark, New Jersey set a record yesterday after reaching its fifth day straight of temperatures over 100 degrees. It was so hot in New Jersey, you could bake a ZD on the sidewalk. <laughs> That's a joke uh, Johnny Carson could have told. <laughs> Except he couldn't because when Carson had this job, it wasn't 100 degrees five days in a row. The New York Post and the Wall Street Journal each published an op-ed on Friday denouncing former President Trump for his role in the Capitol attack, and USA Today denounced him in a Garfield. <laughs> former Trump advisor Steve Bannon was found guilty last week of criminal contempt of Congress and faces up to two years in prison, not including the two weeks it takes to strip search him. All right, take off that shirt, and then that other shirt, and then another one. Jesus, the layers on this guy! And finally, the fast food chain Subway will launch a promotion this week that will give customers free sandwiches for a year if they get a tattoo of the company's Subway Series logo on their forearm. Meanwhile, Arby's will give you a sandwich if you just write meat on your forehead with a Sharpie. <laughs> and that was a monologue, everybody.